Yo, hello everyone. Your website's logo is a crucial element for brand identity and recognition. In this tutorial, we will show you how to add a logo to your WordPress website. Whether you have a pre-designed logo or need to create one, we will guide you through the process of uploading and customizing your logo. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First of all guys, I will need you to go to your dashboard on your WordPress website. Then what you have to do is go to your user blog through here and click on visit site. So it's it won't be user blog for you, it can be whatever name for your website you're given, but for me it is user blog. Now this is the WordPress website that I have and this is the template that I'm using. So it doesn't have any supports of logos yet in here, so there is no place for logos. So what I'm going to do is check in the customized section here. Let me check first if I can actually add any kind of logos. So if I click here on site identity, you will have we'll have here this logo section. So as you can see here, we can add both logo and for site icon. Well, for your WordPress logo, you have to go for these dimensions which are here logo for WordPress website. These are like the dimensions for it. So here we go, we can go here and we can find here all the dimensions for it. So this is how you can create your customized logo and for the dimensions let's search here let me just click here uh, logo wordpress logo dimension and it is 200 and 100 of course this is not for every single website it depends actually on your own templates sometimes the template will support this pixel sometimes it will not so it is completely uh, support on your templates so for example here we can go through Photoshop as an example and what you can do is create a simple logo in the size so you can create it uh, create a logo using Photoshop there is also another website which is called Canva which is actually for logos as well you can simply just look into it as you may see here I'm going to look in real quick and here we go I'm here so what I'm going to do is create a design choose to make a logo and here it is, so this is, the, this is the logo for you. You can just start working on it, edit everything, and then upload it on your WordPress website. So this is just an idea on how you can create logos for your website. So we can easily use either Photoshop or Canva. Now, for example, on Canva, how to download anything? You can just click here, download, choose the size that you are going to go for. In my case, I don't have the premium version to actually re rescale this to the size that I want, which is 200 and 100. So I'm going to download on this normal size, download, and then I'm going to my dashboard here, customize, click on select logo, and from here, I'm going to upload files, select files, and then select this one and then select again crop image and it will be added over here unfortunately it is not png i have not downloaded it as a png form so yeah i it wasn't in png form unfortunately so what you can do is replace it with another logo maybe uh, i have here a bunch of logos so we can use for example gbard let's try if it is we're gonna work Scrub image for example yep it is working it is very working so as you can see the logo has been supported is it supported by my template since it is here it will be supported if you want to remove it you can simply click here to remove it now for the site icon which is the logo over here so as you can see here in my tab there is a logo there is a logo for google here a logo for canva a logo for microsoft a logo for this website which is for anime youtube logo facebook logo these co are called five icon which are the logos that are in the tab and they are the identity of your website in case you'd like to add them as well just look for the size which is 512 in 512 and select an icon do the same thing upload it and everything will be good for you so let's try this out select mm, let's do the same thing crop image 
and let's check it is has been updated as you can see this is the logo that i have chosen and it is updated and of course make sure to have better quality uh, logos for your website so you can have a really decent uh, performance for users so users when they have like a bad logo experience or something like that they won't really trust the website since there is no more no like much efforts on the design so the design is the first thing that attract people so as long as your website is actually attractive people will keep coming to your website and try to get to know more about your website let's try this logo thing with another template for example guys for now let's go to appearance so i'm going to click here appearance click on themes and then click on add new here i'm going to go for this hello elementor click on install and I'm going to try to actually change the logo of this website. So let's go here. It is uh, downloaded, so I'm going to activate it. And the next thing I'm going for is visit the site. So this is how it looks like for now. Click on customize. It is completely the same thing. Site identity. As I said, as long as there is this logo section over here, that means this website will support logos. So click here, choose this one, and let's do the same thing. Select, group and here it is now this is a problem with the template as i said there is no such as uh, a logo dimensions for every template so each template will have its own dimensions for example here this logo was too big for the template to be in it but there is some logos that will be fitting in here um i don't know you can just for example even this logo will be fitting as long as you make it much smaller and let's try to copy this crop image and as you can see this one was fitting pretty much good let's try the same thing with this one but this time i'm going to select everything Let's try if it is going to work. It works, but as you can see, it is huge for the page. Even the main menu has been corrupted. It is in a bad format, which is not ideal for your customers to start visiting your website and looking at something like that. So in general, guys, that's how we can actually use this icon, five icon and logo functions on your WordPress website. I showed you in general how to create logos using Photoshop, Canva, you can use these both platforms. If you have any kind of other platforms, you can use it as well. It will be very helpful for you. So as long as you are making good quality, better logos, attractive, that will be actually fitting your template. So don't make logos in green and templates in black i don't know don't make something like that make sure that everything is set up everything is clean and beautiful so you can attract more people more traffic to your website and visitors will be attracted by your website design so yeah guys thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial